Hey y'all, I'm back for a quick addendum. <clears throat> I feel like I totally failed in the um, texture department on this tutorial. So I'm going to go through everything we did just like soups fast. And, um, you know, we may have ending up just doing like a third tutorial down the line where we do this a little bit better. But anyway, this is for mesh based slash effects like you might see in platinum games. I'm gonna add a plane. Again this is gonna be just a quick fire video so people can just reference it real nice. So we open up our UV editor, A, select all, unwrap. We want to project just that whole texture there. We grab this up here. Give a little bit of lip here. It's like 2.2 up. Again, control R. 30. Depends on your fidelity. 32 isn't actually that much. You can still get a lot of like you know rough edges, but it's pretty good. I mean, depending on your game, you could have it super high. Hi Polly. Here's the weird part. Go like this. We drag this down to line up right here. I'm going to grab just this top edge, top view like this, change it to 3D cursor as our pivot point, make sure it's in the middle, shift S, cursor to center, okay, we've grabbed that top one, alt O for proportional editing, change it to linear, R to rotate, hold control, rotate it around, let go of control, mouse wheel down, to grow it out. That is not the right size, why? Why is it like every time? It's gotta be weird. Oh, again. At least you get that step. <laughs> God. Make sure the width. Turn off proportional editing, it's a mistake I made last time. Make sure the width is one. God, I thought it was when I made it anyway. Although proportional editing, hard to rotate. When you're holding control, you can't change the width for some reason of the proportional editing. So scroll it down, hold control again, so you snap here. Um, it's uneven and I don't know why. Is it because it's too fat, probably. Sorry, one day we'll be good at this. Scale Z, 0.5. around. So now I have that A S Z zero to flatten it out. Alt right click, grab that, grab Z, turn off portion of Z, G Z, pop it up one, A, shift D, S Z, negative one, flip, flip the normals back. Oh, for some reason they are still flipped. So now we have that wedge using there. So now, like the texture part. This is the main thing I wanted to get to. Pop that in there. Duplicate this. Tutorial text. Double click on that. It's a PSD file. It's a working PSD file, so that way you can have, you know, your layers and your effects and stuff. Go ahead and hide that. Do a new layer. What I like to do is just start with like a big square here. It's a white square. And then blending options, outer glow. Normal. Increase the size a bit. Let me take a soft brush. This is just like the beginning steps. 
I soften those edges? Not soft brush, soft eraser. Save that. Go back in here. Drop that into our tutorial thing. So now we have this, right? So now we can really learn about like how it like how this translates onto the mesh. Seems pretty good. Is there a gap in here? That's a little weird. That's not even the right anyway. So generally I have it so like the top is like the inner ring. Does that make sense? And so the bottom here is like the actual part. So go like this. And I don't know why I did that, I don't need to. I'm gonna make my brush super huge. I'm actually gonna hold it far away and just do that. Okay, good. That's exactly. That means the tutorial shows exactly how to make it, which is great. Like the right way to make it. So we have that, and obviously that's like way too wide. So generally, on a work, so it's like that, and so you have like room to like work this way. Generally, good idea. Just pull that in. So then you have that, and then you can really start like shaping it. Now we can do stuff like that. Save it. You know, it's a little bit weak, so you just do. You know, generally at this step, you're just kind of like determining like the shape that you want. Like that. And you'll see a shape like that a lot. Um, it looks really nice. And you can actually do a bit of an angle right here. And that's going to give you more of a point like that, and that looks really nice too. And again, that's a little skinny. Scale that up a little bit. That effect coming through like that. Um, another common shape is like really similar to that. But instead, you do like that. So that's like just a basic like slash effect, you know what I mean? Scale that up just to show you like you get a little bit weird in the middle there. Um, but you can do things to like adjust that. That's a black there. We have that going on. Actually, run this animation that we made earlier, the previous video, or the early video from earlier. Doesn't look too bad. It was meant for a different texture, but anyway, I just wanted to show that. That's pretty much it. Um, it's like my steps for you know getting a, a texture started. Um, and like how it relates in the texture space here, you know, the front's over here, tail ends here, center's here, you know, with that, the blair, <laughs> blending layer stuff, layer blending stuff, um, you can just like smudge around and you'll keep like that, you know, that black outline and it's going to depend on your shader too. You know, this is based on like my shader. Take like a little opacity. We're doing stuff like this. Save it. Um, wasn't a great example. Let's redo it. Delay, delete it all. Drop in a new one. Take our eraser. Some big swaths like this. Give this a bit of a better shape. Like that. Mm, not great. We don't want to make those shapes smaller. And again, you don't necessarily want to take up like the whole length of it, um, because from here to here is the whole circle, right? 
Do some like lower opacity stuff. Maybe kind of like that. Let's be more aggressive here. Like the changes, it's it's gonna be hard. Like you're gonna have to just like find like what's working for. Oh my gosh, like working for you. You know what I mean? Based on your shader and the effect you want. So a lot of times you'll make an effect that's like pretty good, but then if I just like do this, you know, it's like, okay, that's much nicer. I can actually bring this up more. That, let me just rethink that. Go with some smaller ones, actually do a sharp brush. That thing I like to do is like this. Duplicate that layer. Squeeze that in. Lighten that a bit. These are really fast and it's going to take a bit more time than this. Darken that a bit. Save that. Get stuff like that. That's a little extreme, but it can look pretty dope. Maybe it's like, well, it's almost good. So we do like blur, motion blur. That. Get stuff like that. And that's looking pretty tight. Um, you know, another really basic one. I've just been reminded, you know. Straight up, 100%. Going from white to black. New layer. Boopity boppity boo. Yeah, something like that, you know what I mean? And again, you can like soften the edges. It's not a soft brush. Huh. And that's just a gradient from white to black, um, but also full opacity to no opacity. And stuff like that. And then you can go in and like add texture to it. So like go like 50%. I should actually copy that layer. It's gonna make our blacks pop a little bit more. And then go like 20% and start just adding in some shapes or whatever. That was like way too much. Oh, we still have that gradient overlay on there too. You know, stuff like that. Kind of depends on your style. Um, another common thing. New layer. Paste layer style. Grab a cloud, pop it in there. Oh, 100%. Let's do some clouds. That can look really sick. You know what I'm saying? Man, that already looks pretty dope. You know, and work in conjunction with some of the other stuff I showed to just do that. You have things like that. It looks really tight. Anyway, so just a quick thing. I really wish it was in the original video, but. Um, it's okay, this can tell for a minute. Just a real quick one. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care.